Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we are ready to jump out. I've got a level 4 Ruins mission uh, lined up for us here and I have a team prepared. This is, this is going to be a maybe easy, maybe hard mission. I've got a weird sort of comp prepared here. We've got Oracle, our Sunlight Warrior, up in the front line here. Um, and he is going to be helping stun with his repost as well as, um, yeah, doing a little bit of extra damage. He's going to be nice there. We've got Scarlet here with her insane crit chance going on. Um, and just hopefully, again, doing a lot of damage. That lower base HP could be a problem there. Our new class, which we'll get into in just a moment, Percy, our exterminator. And Aurora as our healer, as she hasn't been out in a while. I'm thinking the suppressing fire debuff along with her battlefield bandages and the uh, healing that we have here should lead to a good amount of healing. We should be able to get a good amount off there. And that um, buffing the healing received thing should be really, really nice. But let's get into the backstory of Percy here. This was written by Friendly Shep. Percy. Alone, afraid, traumatized, beyond help, mad, deranged, clinically insane, and corrupt. These were all words thrown at him as he was led into the asylum. You can't do this to him. This isn't right. Why are you doing this? Those were the words screamed by the only person that still cared for him, his sister. Poked, prodded, stabbed, injected, and tested. These were the actions that were taken upon him to remedy his condition. I think he's ready. Let's give him his final test. Those were the words spoken into his ear as he led him into a cage. Percy, is that you? Oh, thank God you're alive. I can't even imagine the horrible things they've done to you, Percy. What are you to... These words, these things that faded, that faded in and out of his shattered mind. They did not matter to him anymore. As he lifted the knife he was given to complete the test, he thought that he should be feeling something. He knew who this person was, right? He probably should have been doing this. Probably shouldn't be doing this. So why did he feel nothing? The knife fell and his test was complete. Subject CX-42 was released from the asylum. Ten years after being trapped and tormented within, his final order was to take care of the sickness within the estate he had heard so much about. The same estate he had gotten his condition. From that... Uh, from that lead, he uh, led her down his path to the first place. Feelings did not matter. Conversation, even less. The only thing that mattered now was action. And he had some exterminating to do. My god, that's a really good backstory. Very deep. Uh, I really like the idea that his origins come from here as well. And he is going to be, he's going to be pretty interesting. He's a very, very new class. Uh, we're bringing him on with the Crushed Hemlock for that extra Blight and Blight chance. Uh, the Hero's Ring for that Virtue chance. And he's got some interesting stuff. We've got a Bypass and Brick Guard here, along with, along with a Pull. Although it does debuff target with Can't Be Guarded. Um, although, wait, is that debuff the enemy with Can't Be Guarded? Because if that is, that's really good. Um, and then we've got Collar and Contain here, which is a massive debuff to damage and speed. Uh, although Collar and Contain is disabled after that, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem, but I think that's really good. We have this here, Trap, which sounds really interesting. Uh, on first use, it's going to minus some dodge and activate Repost. On the second use or activation of Repost, it will stun and bleed, along with clear um, losing some speed off the enemy. I kind of thought that we'd stay away from this one, at least for now, because bleed isn't going to be too good, considering we're going into the ruins. So I'm going with Smirks out here, which is... An AoE um, blight along with um, a dodge debuff, but it is going to blight our party as well. But I think that's kind of interesting. And then we've also got here sanitize. Only one use per battle, but if we start off with this for a minus stress, minus incoming stress, and then plus bleed blight and disease resist. I'm guessing that's all for the rest of battle. So that is going to be really, really good. Um, yeah, Oracle, he has the yips, so we're giving him the Eagle's Talisman, uh, along with the um, Nepothane for that minor stress and extra virtue. Uh, and yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty good team to go out with. We don't have too many diary entries today, but we do have a few coming that I've written um, about what previously happened. And I have done some tweaking to the incoming recruits on the stagecoach. They should all... Almost all of them be level 4s and 5s now. There is a 60% chance for level 4s and a 40% chance for level 5s. So we should get a lot, lot, lot more level ups here. And what I'm hoping this does 
is it allows us to get everyone up to level five a lot, lot, lot faster. Uh, and also when we're bringing new classes, they can be brought in on level four rather than pairs of here that's level three. Either way, let's quickly go and check to make sure everyone is currently ready to go. Let's uh, get back up there and uh, make sure everyone is all armored up and everything ready to go out on this expedition um there you go that's good um i think you're mostly okay on them aren't you this one's the only one we need percy of course is going to be fine and everyone else here I'd imagine is fine. Yeah, and of course Aurora's all leveled up. We haven't been out with, with Aurora in a while. That's why I wanted to bring her out. Uh, I think she's going to be very valuable, but we're going into a long uh, Master's dungeon in the ruins. I think this should be a pretty good comp. I think this party should do well. We'll probably end up getting some Crimson Curse here, so I am going to take some blood with me just in case. Um, I'm going to take, like, I don't know, like five... How much can I get in a stack? Yeah, we'll take six. Uh, just in case, just because there is a chance we will take on the uh, the curse, be simply because we're going into the ruins and we haven't beaten the um, the Viscount yet. And that means there is going to be a lot of Bloodsuckers about. We will be going for the Bloodsuckers next. That is our next thing up. I really wanted to do this though because we got Percy at level three. I want to get him leveled up to level four or um, even possibly five this mission. So uh, let's hope to do that. And then, yeah, next mission, we'll be heading out to the Viscount to try and take out that horrible, horrible beast. But let's jump into our first diary entry here. Our first one by me, by Alexander the Surgeon. I've been here for some time now. Been out a few times myself, but mostly been working with Isaac on this damned curse that keeps rearing its ugly head. Finally came face to, well, not exactly face, but some kind of parasitic bloodsucker. Anyways, I saw, I finally saw the horrors myself, and they did get a few bites in. But I came prepared with my lucky syringe, filled with something me and Isaac have cooked up, and it seems to have driven off the uh, effects of the curse. Seemed to work a treat, not a single one of us caught the curse, although I feel Isaac secretly wants to catch it. He speaks often about wanting to know how it works, thinks it'll give him a better understanding of how to cure it for good. Personally, I think he's a fool. A smart fool, but a fool nonetheless. I really like the relationship between Isaac and some of the other medics, so I really wanted to grow that a little more. So, we are trying to explore 90% of rooms here. Make our way. Long mission, of course. I didn't check our camping skills once more because I'm forgetful. We should be okay, though. I really need to check those more, though. Okay. Head up into our first battle. Luckily, we shouldn't get the collector um, or the thing from the stars this mission. Very happy about that. Don't know how well this group would fare against that beast. The light, we'll see. The promise of safety. Ooh, this is a pretty hard first fight. This is a pretty hard first fight. Um, let's do that. Buff ourselves to start. And... Hmm. I think... I think we just do this on you to start. Can't be guarded. I don't think you get guarded anyways, but I think that's going to work out quite nicely. And... I'm going to stun both of these guys. It's going to stun us as well. Oh, we resisted. Awesome. I wasn't expecting that, but that's really good to see. Um, What sort of damage are we going to do here? Not great. I think we just, um, yeah, let's just set up this. Lower that. These guys have pretty high crit, so I'm going to lower their crit a lot. And Aurora here is just going to be the back line as a healer and debuffer. As well as, um, as well as Percy, our exterminator. That's a big hit. That's a big hit coming in right off the bat there. So we're going to start off with this. It does, um, de-stress us all, but it also gives us these huge buffs, which I'm really happy to see. Um... I think we just start going for hits now, and there's that 20 crit. Nice bit of stress relief there. And we start healing up. We start healing up. Percy's taking his first hit. He should be okay. Let's parry on him. Set up our parry. Our repost, even. Cleave. That, that can hurt a lot, but we luckily got the dodge here. This insane plus 40 dodge is really going to be the, the helping factor here. I, I very highly doubt Scarlet's going to get hit too much. Uh, let's lower his damage. He did unfortunately resist that. That is a shame. And it is disabled for two rounds as well, so... But there's another crit from Scarlet. She's going to be coming in with a lot of those. 
plus 29 crit. Right now, her crit is sitting at 49%. Booyah. Absolutely booyah. Get another one of those. Health is getting a little low. Luckily, we get that dodge. Um, you're sitting at... What health are you sitting at right now? 27 out of 39. 28. I think we keep you healed up first, just because you are the weaker class right now. You are underleveled slightly. Nice dodge once again, guys. Nice dodge again, Scarlet. Scarlet just can't be hit. She just can't be hit. Great. Um, we could smoke out here. I don't know if that's a good good way to do this. Let's do this. That blights him too. Great. And then let's try and stun these guys. Stunned you. Did stun us, but we we're expecting that. That's okay. And there's our last Monstrous crit to take that guy out. Has no Plus 36 crit. Unless inordinate nice. I love Aurora's heal. The way it just like stacks up and stacks up and stacks up. It's great. Nice. That stun that's helping out a lot. Okay, first non-crit. We did mark the target, so that's okay. Okay. Keep setting up that extra blight on there. Nice. Hopefully get an extra healing before this combat's over. That's a pretty bad hit. That's a pretty bad hit. Nice dodge though, Aurora. Love to see it. And there's you taken care of. Stress looks like it's not really going to be a problem with the crits of this group right now. Which is really nice to see. Uh, I'm actually just going to buff myself here because I want to get an extra healing. Okay, that does debuff him massively and lower his speed too. Great that we got that dodge there. So you've got the extra healing. You've got the extra healing received. Let's heal you up first. We maybe get one more healing here before reinforcements. Let's give it a go. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. He might die to the blight here, actually. I guarded with her. It doesn't actually matter. There we go. We get one extra healing. Great stuff. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Awesome. That works out really nicely. Unlock that, Aurora. You can have those treats. Very good to see, guys. Very good to see. Of course, Oracle is definitely wanting to see the uh, the Viscount and um, a few of the others of that uh, courtyard. He has some ties to that in his past. But for now, he's okay just stomping on a few bugs, taking out taking out some of the riffraff and clearing the way for um, for his fellow adventurer. I mean, they, they came in as adventurers, but these guys are all seasoned veterans now. Everyone here can hold their own. Of course, Percy... He is new, but he knows these lands. He has been prepared for this, for this exact moment. He comes in more prepared than some others, you'd think. But yeah, he's he's doing okay. He's doing okay. He can help. He can help out the group a good amount as well, which is really nice to see. Um, yeah, let's go all the way around. I know there's a battle here, but there you go. We've got to assume that basically any hallway battle is going to be bloodsuckers. Most hallway battles will be. We got lucky this time. Always want to do this buff, mainly for the dodge, but obviously the crit and damage is a big thing as well. Um, start off with this. Get those buffs going. Get that stress heal out there. I think I kind of have an idea for first turn. So first turn, I think, is always going to consist of... Um, Scarlet uses her Deathstroke. Percy uses his uh, Sanitize. Um... Our Oracle here, he uses his um, Emit Force and Aurora, unless we need healing, always use Suppress Fire. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't matter if we get stunned if we're stunning two other enemies. This is in a really good spot. Uh, suppressing Fire isn't actually the best right now because we can only hit one enemy. Um, I think we just go for some, some standard healing and get everyone healed up. When we can hit two enemies with that, it's a little better. It's mainly good for clearing enemies that we know are going to crit. Or we feel are going to crit. Now that you're gettable, let's uh, let's try and get some hits on you and then crit. Aw, oh, no crit, but we did get the kill. And we'll disable your damage. 
That's a huge, huge debuff, that. That is going to be something that we really, really like to see. Um, we'll set up parry. Obviously, it's not going to get rid of the bodies, but that's okay. I, I do believe as well uh, we can use uh, Percy's move uh, to clear empty corpses. Yes, we can. Smoke out does clear corpses, which is great for us. Nice, Aurora. Unexpected of you, but very, very welcome. Thank you. We've already got one of these gloomy headdresses, so we don't need that. They can be beaten. Okay, that, that, was, that was a very positive little battle there. And it looks like these guys are, are set for success so far. Which is what we like to see here. Once we get into these level 5 missions though, we haven't done any yet. But as soon as we get onto them, things are going to heat up quite a large amount. There's going to be some really, really tough fights in there. I, there's some, I've got some custom mini bosses that we can go and fight. Um, that I'm not going to know how to fight. We've got the actual bosses that we still need to do. And then on top of all of that, we've got some of the new enemies that show up. Here's our first little battle with these guys. I'm expecting at least one account of the uh, curse coming in here. Okay, you healed, but you're on full health, so that doesn't really help you, does it? Uh, these guys do have blight resist, so I'm not going to do this for now. Let's just start off with this. The disease resist here is actually just perfect. Plus 40 disease resist is really going to help counteracting that uh, that crimson curse. Of course, Percy coming here knowing nothing of the crimson curse. We're, we're just going to go for kills here. We're not going for the buff. Nice. That's a, such a good move, that. Stunning two enemies um, for the price of one of your teammates is always, always a worthwhile trade, I think. Especially when he's not our damage dealer. Like, we don't need him to, for dealing damage. We need to kill you pretty early on. Nice one. Indeed, obliterated. And stress is, yeah, stress is just handling itself right now. It's always great to see. Um, just lower your damage. Nice. Aurora, can you get a heal on Percy there? Top him up a little bit. I'm glad that I did that. I mean, we got the dodge, but it's worthwhile anyways. Get that going. That's actually okay damage considering it disables guard and everything as well. That's a, that's a hit. And there's the curse. There's the curse. Aurora taking on the curse. Percy luckily not. He did resist it there. Stun both of these guys again. Okay. Yeah, I did think we'd get at least one person taking on the curse here, so I'm glad we prepared for that eventuality. Definitely put us in a better position here. Nice. One pretty cool combo we have going on here, by the way, is uh, this always marks target. Um, but with Aurora, we get extra damage versus marked and crit versus marked. So we can use that as a like little extra damage wombo combo if we would like to. It's not always going to be the, the best idea because we might want to heal. But uh, it is going to work sometimes for us. Get everyone back up to full health, shall we? Or at least everyone that we can. There you go. Give them no quarter. Nice one, Scarlet. And we did indeed get another Viscount invitation. I'll keep it on, you know, on me for now. I might not keep it forever, though. But yes, we are now in a pretty good position here. Okay, we do have some stealth. I can't remember if we have any de-stealth here. Uh, let's have a little look-see. Don't have any there. I don't think we have any de-stealth for now. Let's get ourselves buffed up. Um... Yeah, let's 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 get that going as well. I think it's worthwhile to get that going at the start of every battle. I don't see why not. These two lowering their accuracy is huge. There we go, exactly why. Lowering their crit, not so much, but double dodges there. Love to see it. Percy is taking a little bit of a beating here, but that's okay. Get that going again. We did unfortunately get one person counteract the stun there, but we stunned the uh, the enemy that we needed to, so no bother. Uh, let's lower your damage. 
another dodge. This guy being up front is perfect. We're actually not going to worry about him while he's up front because he, he can only stab in the dark. He can't do anything else. He can't stress us out from there. This is why the accuracy debuff is so, so good. Ooh. From stealth, he gets a huge crit. Okay. This is getting a little touchy now. A little touchy. Um, let's take you out now. I was going to leave you, but I'd rather get you out the way so we can pull things forward a little bit. Aurora stress is getting a little high, not going to lie. Um... Let's apprehend you. Oh, unfortunate, Percy. Unfortunate. Nice critical heal. That was exactly what we needed there. Exactly what we needed. We are getting uh, optimism procking here. Glass half full. A little bit of stress relief randomly. Uh, we're going to parry. Set up parry there. Arrow first. Percy taking another slash, but he's okay. Dead weight. We did get the stun off. Unfortunately, we stunned ourselves, though. Or at least he stunned us, I think. And now we don't have that accuracy deal with anymore. We've been focusing a little bit too much on healing, so... Let's smoke out. We all got blighted, but that's okay. It's, it's not much blight. Take you out. Just wait to get rid of that body more than anything. Okay, let's get some healing going on here. There's 10 for you. These two in the back line, their stress levels is, get, is getting up there, but we shouldn't worry about it too much. Just lower your damage. Wow. Minus 110. Wait, does that... Li if it goes over 100, does that literally mean he can't deal damage? That would be great. That would be so good. Nice, crit oracle. Well done. Good, good. Keep pushing forward. We've gone round in a circle here. Okay, that, that eating there is actually pretty good. Healed us up. Yeah, we just have to be careful of Aurora now. This is why I brought the blood with us, just in case. On a long mission, it's foolish to not bring the blood if you're expecting to fight bloodsuckers. Um, because if you don't find any blood and someone goes into wasting, you've, you've got problems. In Radiance, may we find victory. So I, I, I came in prepared for that eventuality. Ooh, we do have one of these guys. We are going to have to focus this down. Uh, this loses one action when hit. If it manages to take a turn, it's bad. So we're going to lower its accuracy, but also lose one of its turns. And we're going to lose its second turn there. It's not going to be able to move, but it loses a turn for that. Um. Ah, I was like, why can't I hit? These two are stealth. That makes sense. Um. I guess we'll we'll help Percy out. Glad I did, sir. So. Although Oracle taking quite a big hit there. The slashes here are pretty bad because they um they can crit from from stealth pretty easily. Health is getting a little low here. Um, let's keep going on that. Nice dodge. Okay, this is having these two stealth is terrible. Okay, we've got that block this time. Nice. Okay. Let's get that resists going. Wait, what? You what? Oh, fuck. I messed up really bad. On the brink. I messed up really bad, people. She still had the exclamation mark above her head, so I thought that she couldn't go until that was gone. That's not the case at all. <laughs> That's not the case at all. Oh, my God, this is bad. You've got to go, woman. Oracle, please no. More blood soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. Oracle. My sweet boy. You are so young. 
This is bad. This is really bad. We might we might lose multiple people here. You've got to go, woman. You've got to go. Oh no, this is terrible. The slightest lapse in concentration. I've got to get you gone. I've got to. I need to heal, but I've got to get you gone. Oh my god. This was bad. This was really bad. Oh my god. Ugh. Because we got the surprise and she still had the surprise icon above her head, I thought that she couldn't get her two actions back until that was over, but obviously that was not the case at all. Damn. Oh my god. We need to heal up really bad as well. I don't know what to do here. Regenerate health. Um, you can have that. We gotta take these. Is it worth carrying on? I don't think it is, is it? I think I think if we carry on, we put ourselves in, in a lot of danger. We have a lot of rooms to get through first. Let's quickly check our camping skills. If if we don't have a if we don't have a thingy. Um Prevent nighttime ambush, we're gonna have to go. Yeah, we don't. We're gonna have to go. Well, that was um That was unexpected. I'll say that. That was unexpected. Be very careful around those those statues. And make sure that even if even if you get the surprise on them, you still hit them. Ah, I, I can't believe. I can't believe it tricked me like that. Like, well, I say tricked me. I can't believe I didn't know that. I can't believe I didn't realize. That was, uh, that was unfortunate. Really unfortunate. <sighs> hmm. I, I really, I, we, we can't, we can't continue. We have three people, one of which is underleveled. It's just, it's not going to work out for us. Percy's first ever um, expedition into here has, has gone has gone south very quickly. Very, very quickly. But we are going to have to abandon Quest, unfortunately. We can't carry on with three people. On this fleeting failure. The campaign is long, and victory will oh, come. My God. Grey Rot. We'll get rid of Grey Rot. Oracle. Poor Oracle. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. My god. It's, it's been a while since we've had a death. In your but it was bound to come eventually. It was bound to come eventually. My god. Right, let's um Percy, you can you can quickly pray there. My god. Oh, ooh, we got ourselves um, a champion stargate. Ooh, Percy, I am sorry. You are going already. <laughs> I know that I've just put Percy in. Can I still? Yeah, I can. Okay. Percy, I just spent money on you, I realize. But Percy's back <laughs> with, um, with level four now, because that means we don't have to worry about leveling him up to level four. We can just pretend he leveled up that one. Oh my god. Let's put these same spells back on again. Spells, you know what I mean. Okay. And we did get a champion stargazer as well for the next episode. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here just because this is kind of a... Kind of a stopping point for us, really. Um, the space between worlds is no place. Well, there's our stargazer. We do have a we do have a, a story ready for this for the next episode. I'm looking forward to messing around with this class. Either way, I uh, yeah, I can't believe Oracle's gone. I can't believe it. That was a monumental mistake 
uh, that led to some tragic, tragic events. Uh, but, but, but in that there is a lesson learned. When we're going into the um, level five or even level four dungeons back into the ruins, we ha we ought to be very, very cautious of um of those we, we have seen one of those before and it has done that before i knew how they worked it, it just the surprise really caught me off guard i didn't realize that that would happen we probably could have quite easily gotten away from that had she been taken care of earlier but 31 hit on a non-crit is is absurd we do have one last dire entry written by me to end this off for our plague dr isaac <sighs> Once more, I meet with those blood-sucking nightmares, but me and Alexander came prepared with a little something just to increase our natural resilience against the curse. I wouldn't ever tell the rest of them this, but I never actually took any of the concoction myself. I feel getting the lust for blood will actually give me a deeper insight into how to fight it. While progression on the curse on the cure is good, it's not enough. Everything we've come up with is only temporary measures, but we need something more permanent. Indeed we do. We're going to head out probably into the uh, the Viscount on the next uh, episode here. It is a champion dungeon, so we'll see about that. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.